you would think I have a kid because I'm down the cookie aisle, but I don't. And I'm really tempted to buy some cookies, but I already bought like all this junk food and like has like brownies down there. I don't know if you can see and champagne and burritos, like Selena diet. <laughs> um, but I came down this aisle, well, because there's ice cream, but then I saw the cookies and it just, I had a train moment. I had a flashback to last this time last year where we all tried Oreos. Me, Kate, Drew, Shane. It brought back memories. Now everyone's getting skinny on me. And um, basically I'm left to eat these all alone. But it's really exciting. But anyways, I'm gonna get some ice cream. I just don't know what kind to get. My hair looks really crazy. I just had a doctor's appointment. I needed a recommendation of sorts, so. Got it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Serious business. What ice cream to get? What ice cream? Weight Watchers ice cream? Probably not. Probably should, but probably not. Hmm. The military diet, diet you can have um, vanilla ice cream. I actually should probably get vanilla ice cream. Hmm. So many decisions. Alright guys. I don't know if this is <gasps> cherries, you guys. I had the peanut butter. What is it? The peanut butter core one? So good. Peanut butter half baked, but I don't see it. They have red velvet cake. Boston cream pie. Oh my god, are you guys seeing this? I'm coming in my panties right now. Ooh, this is intense. Alright, guys. What ice cream will I pick? To be continued. Alright, guys. I went super. I'm a basic bitch. I got basic dryers, but I got this drumstick ice cream, which is pretty much the shit. I also got some tater tots and waffle. So, that's my adult cart. <laughs> so very healthy as an adult. I was never healthy as a child, so as an adult I'm not very healthy either. Um, just for this week. Sometimes I'm healthy, sometimes I'm not. This week is the latter. Yeah. Waiting for an awkward person. I've <laughs> got lots of wine and champagne. Because mama's feeling good. Mama's feeling good and I went on a walk today. And that's why I look burnt. As <laughs> um, but yeah, carrying this up will be a workout. That's my reward. <laughs> the ice cream. <laughs> kidding. It's probably not for tonight. It's when I have a really bad period cravings. <gasps> Friday's food. Oh, I can't. I can't. I have to leave. I have to get out of the store because I probably won't all fit in my car and I probably won't all fit in my belly. So, anyways, that was another shopping adventure with Trish. Hey everyone. So it is a glorious Sunday morning. And I really have nothing to do today. My sister might be putting my hair in my bed, my hair extensions back in, but I don't know. But my mom's coming over to have a cup of Java with me because she doesn't have a Keurig because she just moved and she gave my sister her, um, her one that she got for Christmas forever ago because she had one with her boyfriend. So putting a little bit of milk into my coffee. Normally I have my Dunkin' Don'ts, Dunkin' Don'ts, Dunkin' Donuts caramel creamer that was so messy that I just did. Mama legs, mama legs. Let's try a little bit. Mm. That is really good. So I normally use the Dunkin' Donuts caramel creamer, but since I tried, it's kind of dripping. I won't take that one out. I put one in here though. Oh, here it is. The Archer Farms caramel macchiato. And this is a decaf light roast, and I would never buy decaf ever. Um, I think Shane bought it actually. By the way, Shane, I still have them here. I'll get you a new one um, from our candy haul forever ago. So I, um, I just had them, and I'm like, oh, I might as well use them, and they're really, really good. So I'll use some decaf ones because they are delightful. Isn't this milk thing just the cutest thing ever? It's like this like glass. It's two percent, and I normally like skim, but I saw this like last one at pavilions and I got really excited and I don't know just little things like this excite me so I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee until my mother gets over here and oh, I coffee in the morning. we'll see where the day takes us oh my gosh you guys by the way my ebook how to be Inter how to get internet famous is out now and um oh man I should just I'll just tell you guys real quick so this was like a little side project I had been working on um and I'm like I don't know if it could be a full book book like paperback like you know it's just I don't I didn't think I could because 
I didn't want to put filler in there, you know what I mean? I wanted to put good information in there and not have to like fill it up, you know? And with fiction it's different because you can really expand a person's story. There doesn't have to be, with me anyways, when I write fiction there's no start and finish, like clear cut start and finish to the story. They can, their stories go on forever because they have life and they can, you can make the story as long as you want. But with this kind of book I wanted it to be kind of just the meat. And um, I can actually show you guys real quick on my Amazon, bring the coffee with. <laughs> So there's the book, How to Get Internet Famous, the $1.99, and it is available only on Kindle. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like I said, spur of the moment, I just sort of like a book I wanted to write. Um, it's something that I wanted to do like as a video idea, and then I'm like, gosh, this is like so much information to put out in one video, like everything I wanted to say. So then I'm like, maybe I could do a blog post. And then the blog post started getting too long and I was just like, no one's going to read this blog post. So I feel like if it was in Kindle format, Kindle, I know with my Kindle, it's just such an easier read for me to be on a Kindle or um, what else do they have? They have another one for books. I don't know, but I just feel like it's easier to read on there than like a computer screen. So I was like, why not just do like a, a little ebook and nothing like, I didn't make like a huge spectacle of it. I really, I love it. I, I think it's really helpful and it's, it's, it's kind of like, the, the title is silly. Obviously, how do I get internet famous? Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of silly, but uh, the book itself has actual things that I did to get a sort of online following and I feel like the book explains it too. I feel like an online following is good for a lot of things, not just for people who want to do entertainment, like if you want to do fashion or Whatever you want to do, I know even my the guy that I was looking at real estate with, um, the realtor, he has a YouTube channel. Like, I feel like it's just kind of good for everyone to have like a sort of online presence, and that's kind of where the book goes. So even if you don't want to be an actress or singer or YouTuber necessarily, building and branding yourself online is a huge thing. And so I just gave my tips. It's not like at the end I'll be all you have to do this, but I gave a couple tips to... Um, People. There's a little bit of funniness in it, but it's it's pretty serious for the most part. It's pretty much like how I did my thing. So I don't know. I just thought it would be a cute little book, and I am working on my novel, which has taken so much time, and it's still going to take so much time. I don't predict it being out for I mean maybe the end of the year. I don't know. Maybe next year. Um, but I that's like my baby. I really want my novels. I'm trying to take those very seriously because I have. I, I think they're really good stories and I don't want to sell myself short on it by any means. And even the covers and stuff, I probably won't be on the covers. Like, I want them to be, like, a serious book um, that people, you know, other than my people that watch me will buy. So, anyways. All right, guys. Good morning to y'all. I hope you all have a beautiful day. It may not be Sunday when this goes up, but whenever it is, have a good day.